Hey y'all, as you see on the table here, <clears throat> this is a BRM-180. Um, I just got it yesterday and it, like I haven't done anything with it. Uh, I've got to go zero it and I plan on doing some videos with that. Um, initial impression is it looks good but that's it uh, I don't know anything else I don't know what to tell you other than I'm just giving you the the beginning of it now the reason why I bought this is because 300 blackout is the <clears throat> my favorite cartridge I think it's the it's a more superior bullet than 556 that's my opinion I'm part of 300 blackout house so um, but the problem is I can't find 300 blackout around here and when I do it's at a price that's like 50 plus dollars for four box um, and I don't really want to be paying that kind of money for, um, for I, don't, I don't want to be paying that kind of money in ammo right now well period I don't ever do that but if you understand you know what I'm saying I don't want to pay that kind of money I want the prices of 300 blackout to drop back down to where it was affordable but um, I don't like 556 and I don't like 223 because I've got 300 blackout. Um, and I don't like that bullet in, in mixing around with what I've got. So I thought about getting AK, but the problem with AK is it's expensive. I don't have a rifle and I don't have mags. And it's, you know, once again, I'm spending money on a rifle, I'm spending money on magazines, I'm spending money on the ammo versus this. I was able to make a couple of sales and with that I'm able to pick this up which allows me to use standard stenog mags you know and <clears throat> it, 556 unfortunately is more uh, available for me to get my hands on the 300 blackout and it's at a better price so this this uh, is where this came in and I'm glad but you know brown brown ales did this because it's I wanted something that definitely was not um, an AR-15 looking upper okay this is definitely not an AR-15 looking upper and um, so with these kind of magazines they can differentiate between my 300 blackout magazines which are Magpul Polymer um, so the metal ones I'm, I'm using for 223 and 556 my polymers my polymers I use for 300 blackout so uh, the next step is buying something to shoot with uh, iron sights I don't want um, my eyes are not good enough for iron sights anymore in my opinion um, prismatic scopes are nice but they're heavy and because this is a piston it already has some weight to it and I want to keep this definitely below I'd like to keep this below seven pounds if I could so um, I gotta find a scope and of course I'll be putting a light on this uh, I, I'll need a couple other little things like M-lock rails uh, a light and some and a scope uh, like I said I would like to put a prismatic scope on there but it, they're kind of heavy and I unfortunately do not have the opportunity or have not had opportunity to go and pick up some of the latest prismatic scopes by primary arms um, or um, the other companies out there I keep looking at um, Leopold a lot because they're very good quality scopes and they are very light weight so always worried about weight these days um, so now I got to figure out what I was going to do is like what lower to put this on so I decided that I was going to put it on the lightest lower I got. So this lower here is home to this upper.
So there she be. Um, great little setup. You know the, the good thing about this is because I've already taken the uh, buffer spring and the, and the buffer, uh, the buffer spring and the uh, the buffer out of here. So this buffer tube is hollow, which means I could put um, whatever I wanted to in here. And of course, I still have the upgraded uh, the upgraded trap door for the uh, the butt stock. So yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Very simple, which I like. I like weapons that are simple. Keep it simple, stupid. I like a safety and a trigger and a magazine release and some type of way to charge the weapon. That's it. I don't like ambidextrous anything except an ambidextrous safety, which I've only got one rifle that has that. Um, so you'll be seeing some videos. I'm going to do a zero. I'm going to find whatever I'm going to use to shoot with. I'm going to do a zero one zero on it we'll, we'll go out to the range we'll zero and then i want to take it as far back as i can take it to see what kind of accuracy we get at uh, other ranges and uh so this is initial also um so i've got a couple of things that i'll be doing an expansion of like i want to spend a lot of time on um no sling on it yet so just kind of raw but um uh, we've got more videos on the way be back directly out.